When it came to deciding which university to attend, I decided that I wanted to aim high. At an early age, I recognised that I was quite driven. I also recognised that in order to be able to keep myself engaged in education, I needed to enjoy it. So when I attended a UCAS event back in 2001, when I was looking at university options, the question came up, what are you interested in? Immediately I said sports. And I quickly discovered the best sports university in the country, if not Europe or the world, and that's Loughborough University. The most prestigious course that they did was sports science. So from that point onwards, I decided that I wanted to do sports science at Loughborough University. Someone told me that it was the best university that I could aim for, and therefore that was top of the list. But I decided to think more sensibly about my career. And at a time when you're looking to specialise in a specific area, I looked at what I had on the table. I had GCSEs, 10 of them. I then had four AS levels, specialising into three A levels. So what happens when you go through the education system, at least in the UK, your broad understanding of multiple topics becomes narrower and narrower before you find your specialism. As I was looking to move into the sports science field, I looked beyond university and what options were available to me, and I couldn't find many. Sports science would keep me particularly engaged because I absolutely loved sport. And I'd already decided that Loughborough University was the best place to do that degree. But there were other options on the table. And rather than narrow down into one specific area of expertise at a very young age, I decided to keep it quite broad. Which meant combining sports science with another topic that I was particularly good at at college and at school. And that topic was maths. Ultimately, at least in my head, that helped to get the job at Ernst & Young as a chartered accountant. Loughborough University quite simply changed my life. I was put in an environment which was extremely competitive in the sporting context. I was lucky enough to be a part of the basketball team there, both from an administrative and a playing perspective. And I got my first taste of what it would be like to work off the pitch. Beyond university, I threw myself headfirst into my career, as I'm sure a lot of people will do watching this. But at some point, I paused and asked myself what I really wanted from my career. And the answer was similar to that when I went to university. I wanted to enjoy it whilst using the skills that I had. And that ultimately led to a job and a career in football and in football finance. So why don't you ask yourself the question, where do you want to end up? whether that's at university or in a career. People will tell you that whatever you decide isn't possible, but it will probably mean some hard work, some sacrifice, and some thought. It doesn't need to be potluck. You can be in control of your career. And if you want to forge a career in football finance in particular, we are here to help. So why not subscribe to our mailing list and follow us on social media. If you like the video, hit like. And if you're watching this on YouTube, hit subscribe for more. My name is Neil Wood and I'm a football finance professional.